The lunch rush is just beginning. I always get a ham and cheese sandwich, but that's just to give an excuse to have the chocolate malt. As folks outside line up for a table. But here, lunchtime is on borrowed time. We're sad. Uh, we We're sad. For more than 100 years, folks in Dallas have been able to come to the Highland Park Soda Fountain for Sunday sodas and grilled cheese sandwiches. It's a part of history in this town. Well, starting later this month, it truly will be history. We would come here sometimes after church with white gloves and little hat on and sit on the little stools and have our chocolate sodas. We would really look forward to those chocolate sodas because they had the whippy whipped cream on it, whipped cream, and they were so delicious. The Highland Park Soda Fountain will soon close its doors, part of a multi-million dollar makeover for this area. For regulars like Mimi and Jenny, it's like losing part of their early years. That griddle is the same griddle that we saw Unreal. back then. But oh, we're sad about it. That's why we're celebrating her birthday early, but she so we could come here. Yeah. We'd try lawsuits and we'd win a lawsuit, and instead of going to Lowry's or somewhere, we'd come here and have a chocolate ball <laughs> to celebrate. For years, attorney Wayne Meacham has called this bar stool his corner office. I love history, and it saddens me that we don't have a higher regard for historical locations, historical businesses. This historic business opened the year the Titanic sank, and the streets of Dallas looked a lot different. The Old West was still in evidence, and you could ride your horse right up to the door. It has weathered the Great Depression and two world wars, but progress, it seems, is something it couldn't stop. I think it's testament to the kind of uh, history that people appreciate and that's a part of their lives. And it brings back that feeling of when they were in small towns and would stop yes. in the little towns at the town square and go to places like this. And yes. And it, and it brought it to Dallas and, that, and it, people thrive on that. And for decades, customers here thrived on a simple menu, one that featured grilled cheese sandwiches and milkshakes and reminders of a simpler time. And see, all this was here when we were here in the 60s. <laughs> For now, though, these locals are enjoying one last visit, getting in that one last bite, and taking home that one last memory. They said they're looking for another location, but you know, it's hard to take the memories of a real uh, place that this has been for so many years. In Dallas, Texas, I'm Chuck Moffat for Chuck's Americana.